Hi, my name is Osnat and I'm the customer success team lead here at ESL Engineering Software Labs, the developers of the mandatory fields application. And today I'm going to walk you through how we can install the application, use the integrations and also show you a quick demo with um, some project management. Okay, so to download, we have here in Monday, the puzzle at the top, we can search for mandatory fields. And you'll see our application here. You can click on use app or add app, which may be in your case. And then it will ask you in which workspace and board you'd like to install this. Once you click on add app, you will get the integration center. And I'll come back to that in one moment. To add the widget, we need to add a view called the blank view, which used to be the dashboard. And here we can give it the name of mandatory field so we know what is in the view. In the add widget, we click on apps. And here we once again search for mandatory fields. Once we've added the app, you'll see here at the top some options. So we have create, existing, user guide, settings and purchase. In the middle of the screen, we've got where you would actually choose the boards and the groups and the columns that we want to restrict. So when we click on the boards, as you can see, we have all the boards in our account. What we can do is we can go into the settings. And then here on the right, we've got show current boards only. Now it will only show me the board that I'm working on. I can choose the mandatory fields demo. The next is the group. The group is where an item moves from one group to another, and that is when we do the restrictions. So if we want to make sure that before an item goes into the second group, we want to make sure we restrict certain columns, that is the group that we would choose. We then have the columns that we'd like to choose. So we have status and say date, and then I click on create. We then have the tab for the existing. So now we can see our existing creations and restrictions. Our application is available in a dashboard in within a actual board. Our application is available within the dashboard within a specific board. We can also create a dashboard specifically for the mandatory fields where we can restrict more than one board. So if we go into existing here, we'll see we have the existing uh, restrictions on many of the boards. Let's go back to our demo. Now that we've built up one restriction, we have our next step, which is the integrations. We go into the integration center. We search for mandatory fields once again. And here we have our six integrations or recipes that we can use. Our recipes are based on validating the restrictions that we've built up within the widget itself. So we have several options where we can change on status or within a button or when an item is moved to a group using a monday.com automation and not the integrations that we have within the board. So the integration that we've chosen is when an item is moved to second group, restrict the columns by the mandatory fields, and we can also build one up for each group that we need. So here, when we change, when I take an item, let's say for this example, I'm gonna drag it and move it into the second group. As you remember, we restricted the person and the date and therefore my item automatically gets removed and put back in this first group. We then get a notification within Monday where you can see that the notification tells you which columns are missing. Great, so that is very basically how our application works.